Hi everyone, I just got a card share, a um, couple of cards I've made lately. Um, this one is my first uh, Copic colouring experience. Um, so it's a little bit rough and there's definitely a lot of room for improvement, but it didn't come out too bad. It was also my first um, Magnolia image to colour as well, so uh, I had a really good time colouring that in. I think she's called the Summer Fairy or something like that. Um, she's a fairly new one, I believe. Um, so just layered a few different uh, coloured cardstocks, a little bit of lace down here, and just some paper flowers. These pearls are coloured with my Copics, and um, this stamp was just the edges of this stamped image, which is a Stampington and Company stamp and it's called Russian Beauty so that's it there so I just used the edge of that um, it's a little doily and I tried to keep this one a lot less dimensional than the other one so it's fairly thin um, and just on the inside just some butterflies and this is from the Stamping Up Beautiful Wings uh, little sizzlets die and it punches out all five of those butterflies in one um, so yeah that was my first go at a magnolia image um, and then this one which I actually colored before this one um, was again with the distress inks using the um, method that Camilla shows in her tutorial on her blog that I linked in the last video um, so this is just weathered wood and some stickles through her hair there um, again I used the pine needles and the broken china on the wings um, and these are just some liquid pearls that I popped on afterwards um, I used tattered rose and a little bit of vintage photo for the skin tone and I did muck it up a little bit around the face but um, it's not too bad as long as you hold it far enough away you would never notice <laughs> um, so yeah just a top note style die around the edge here some more flowers these ones were just fabric flowers that I found in a um, just like a two dollar shop here um, it was in a big bunch of them so I just cut those out and stuck the little pearls in the middle and on the inside I've just used some matching cardstock uh, that card stock is the same as the one behind. This was just a bit of seam binding that I coloured with the Dusty Concord in the Distress Stain. Um, I think that's about it. Um, these little tiny metallic flowers, they are actually purple, although they're looking a bit blue through the camera, so I hope they are coming up as purple. Um, but I actually got those off eBay. So... And the stamp's name is Silver Fairy, and she's a whimsy stamp, wee whimsy stamp. And then these other two, I actually attend a, a stamping up club once a month. And these ones we made last night, this one was just really super quick with the um, cupcake punch, which I don't actually have, but I um, just made it there. So cute little quick and easy birthday card if you need to make one in a hurry. And this one here, which I actually quite like looks quite vintage and old-fashioned not sure if you can see the shine uh, through the back there through the embossed area um, but that was using the shimmer paint over several different colors on the cardstock to get like a patinaed sort of effect um, the colors aren't really coming through on the camera and just the Eiffel Tower stamp but yeah so that was just another little quick one that we did well, it wasn't that quick but we did it last night Anyway, I just wanted to share those with you and thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.